Hi friends, welcome to Techology. And in today's video, we are going to check out the Geo Phone Next, which is a new smartphone and a low spec and low priced smartphone in Indian market. Earlier in June, Mr. Ambani said that he is going to launch this phone in September, but due to some reasons, I think this is going to be delayed. The phone is co-developed by Google and Geo, and it go it is going to use the Android Go version of Android. For those who are who are not aware about the Android Go version, then they can check out the link in the description. But for now, I can tell you that the Android Go is the extremely optimized version of the parent Android, and it is created for the mobiles or smartphones which are using less than 2 GB of RAM. So even if you have less RAM, this phone is going to work for you. Okay, so let's check out some of the specifications. We will start with the operating system. It is using the Android version 11 and the custom UI is Android Go. As this is a low specs phone, the Android Go is the best choice for this. And uh, most of the Android Go versions comes with the plain vanilla Android state. It means that if there is any Android version is going to be available in next few months, then this phone is going to get that. Okay. So now let's check out the storage and performance. Uh, so the phone uses a Snapdragon 215 quad core processor and this is a decent processor for the low spec phone. The graphics card is Adreno 308 and it has two variants of RAM which are 2GB and 3GB. So 3GB version is still in rumors but 2GB is going to be available. The internal memory is 16GB and 32GB. And again 32GB is a rumored version, we don't know if it's going to come. The phone comes with a memory card slot where you can put a memory card which is up to 128GB. The main camera of this phone is 13 megapixel, and it comes with LED flash. Camera doesn't have any optical image stabilization and it doesn't have any other sensor which is like ultra wide and any other sensor which you see on flagship smartphones. The front camera is also 8 megapixel, and it doesn't have any optical image stabilization. The battery is 2500 mAh uh, which is quite good for a low budget phone and it can last up to one day if you use some uh, minimal features. The phone doesn't have any type C port, it comes with micro USB charging port and it is also USB 2.0. The audio jack is 3.5 mm which is available for you, this is a good thing. There is no fingerprint sensor but there is one accelerometer sensor. So sensor wise this phone is not loaded with too many sensors but yeah if it's a budget phone then it is what you get on a low price phone. So let's talk about the display. The display is LCD type and having 5.5 inches of uh, diagonal length and it has a resolution of 720 into 1440 pixels. The expect ratio is 18 is to 9 which is good. The pixel density is 293, 293 ppi which is decent. The phone is a bezel-less display so most of the phone will be covered by the pixels and it has a multi-touch support. For the low budget phone this uh, resolution is good but uh, be aware that you won't be able to see many high quality videos which you can see in other uh, smartphones. If we talk about the network and connectivity, the phone comes with two SIM slots, both are nano and both support 4G. And the phone also has a Volte compatibility. The phone also supports 2G and 3G and the Wi-Fi is BGN. The phone comes with Bluetooth and GPS but the phone doesn't have any NFC. The NFC is a feature which you get in some high-end smartphones. So some of the extended features that we know about this phone are voice assistant, automatic read aloud of screen test, language translation and a smart camera with AI filters. If we talk about the price of this phone, the 16GB storage plus 2GB RAM version is going to be priced at 3499 rupees. And if there is a rumored version which is 32GB storage plus 3GB of RAM, then it is going to be priced at 5000 rupees. The previous release date of this phone was 10 September 2021, but due to some reasons this has been delayed to Navratri or Diwali. The most probable release date is currently 15 October, which is the Dashera. So my final words about this phone is the phone doesn't come with a good processor uh, for high-end games and doesn't come with a good uh, photography sensors uh, so if you are a photographer or a gamer then this phone is not for you uh, but if you are someone who is reading newspapers on a daily basis who want to uh, check the stock market want to browse facebook want to check whatsapp youtube and do some or and do some more high-end stuff then this is for you even if you want to play some games like Temple Run, Candy Crush and some other kind of games then this phone is good for you. But if you are going to do some high end stuff then uh, you have to check out the other smartphone. I hope you will like this video. If you like this then please rate, comment, share and subscribe. I hope to see you in my next video.